<laughs> so colorful. <laughs> Hey everyone, Robin with Y here, and today I was inspired by Grace Helbig to do my own inspiration makeup tutorial. That's where I'm inspired to do makeup based on a thing, and today I thought I'd do a Pokemon Go inspired makeup tutorial. Why you wear makeup when you go Pokemon hunting, maybe you see a cute trainer, maybe you don't, maybe you just want to look good for the Pokemon. I'm gonna start with the beginning. Can't do makeup. Who needs to see? First thing we're going to do is put on our foundation. What we want is the palest color you feel comfortable putting on your face. I'm going like literally as pale as we can possibly go. This tutorial I have not done in actuality in real life. It's just been in my head. There, I did it. Cool. Oh, I need sponges. Do I even have sponges in here? I'm a professional and I'm always prepared. Don't move. So we're gonna apply this Revlon Color Stay. I don't know if you can see that. For normal to dry SPF 20. It is 110, which is the lightest you can get because to my entire face, including your lips and eyebrows, don't worry, we will add color and contour later. I need a closer mirror because I don't have my glasses on. I can't see shit. I went with a liquid rather than a powder foundation because I do have dry skin. Get on those lips. I hate it. Because I have really dry skin, powder's only gonna make it drier. For me, anyways. I don't know if it'll do it for you. If you have dark eyebrows like me, you might need to put more on your eyebrow because we're just gonna draw them back on later. Don't worry about it. Moss for eyebrows. That's gonna have to be good enough, eyebrows. White. Achieved. Not that that was ever difficult for me. Now, we're going to jump ahead to the eyeliner, my gel eyeliner, Maybelline Eye Studio. And we're going to have really defined, bold eyeliner. I'm going to pick gel so that it, it is more bold. Oh, I need an actual mirror. I like starting with the top lid, giving it a straight. Oh, hey, look, this stuff looks awesome. Prepared for a little wing. And I think we just want to be a bit bolder. Just a bit bolder. Just a little bit. Um, we're fine. We're fine. I can, I can fix it. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's smeared. Hmm. Hmm. I'll fix it. Oh, um, that may have gotten away from me a little bit. It's fine. We're going for bold. It's good. We're good. Uh, lower lid. This way we don't need eyeshadow. Um, also got away from me, but you know what is also cool, other than Pokemon Go? Equality. It's an equal sign. Duh. We're gonna do it to the other side. Okay. So we've got our dual equal signs, because we're making a statement. Now we're going to put in our real eyebrows. And since we're making such a statement with the equal signs, why not make a statement also with your eyebrows? So we're gonna put them kind of in an unconventional place, and I'm not talking like really big or really low. I'm just talking like not even anywhere near the eyebrows at all. So I think I'm gonna take this eyebrow and put it in the middle. Yes. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna take our first eyebrow and put it right in the middle, like so. Mm. We're gonna take our second eyebrow and put it right there. Both eyebrows. Now. I know what you're thinking, Robin, your face is still white. You've got no contour. We're gonna get some contouring in. Keeping in with the bold theme, we're gonna go with some bold contouring, specifically up here, here, jawline, doing all that. Check back in, it's gonna take a sec. Okay, so as you can see, I've contoured, blended it into my eye, Thing, but we're still lacking in color. We're kind of monochromatic. So what's the best color to add when you want to pop? And I think that's red. I have this red, which we're going to apply. Red lipstick, of course. Okay, there's our pop of red. And I'm just going to finish off by touching up my eyeliner. I think I may have messed it up a bit. I think my eyebrows went away in the process. So I'm going to redo my eyebrows and touch up my eyeliner. And I think we'll be done. So there you have it. 
It's my Pokemon Go inspired makeup tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Click like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and go ahead and find Grace Helbig's link in the description below to subscribe to her as well because she did a great Kim Kardashian slash Taylor Swift inspired makeup tutorial most recently. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! looks great it's so cute what have i done will it even come off that's kind of beautiful though no this is just my life now this is just how i'm gonna look from now on